so we're going to be doing a review today on the Real Housewives of New York City on Bravo. So uh, let's get into it. First of all, Carol, I am loving this jacket. Mm. With the blue lining. I am loving that blue fur lining. I want that jacket. That is that is a must have. I Carol has some good taste though, you know. Um I don't think I've ever seen Carol not put together. And she does look young for her age. So I would definitely take some style advice from her if she was to give it. Ramona. You know what? This cosmetic surgeon has made so much money off Ramona. I think we have seen her at least 10 times since Ramona has been on The Real Housewives of New York. And Ramona has, is the veteran. So this cosmetic surgeon doesn't even need any more clients. All she needs is Ramona. I mean, she'll make all her money that way. Some topical numbing. Oh, is that Botox? No, they... So they had to numb her with some lidocaine. Those injections are not Botox. That is lidocaine. Something ain't right. I'm talking about shit she had gotten up. I would have gotten up when they started filling up the syringe. So what we do? What we doing? He... Oh, we just doing some topical? Okay, yeah, this must not hurt. Oh, you got the needle in the... Oh, no, we ain't doing that today. We ain't doing that today. I pass. I pass. I pass. You keep the money. I pass. I pass. Tapping out. Tapping out. Ramona, she, she do anything to keep her looking young. Oh, it's like they burning... The top layer of her skin. Did y'all see the smoke come off the machine? Come off the machine. So what we do? What we doing? He. how old I get but black don't crack so I don't think I gotta worry about it okay Sonia Frenchie Frenchie and Rocco okay now you know we all know that Sonia had some money problems we don't know if she still got them but she is always put together as well. I mean, this little blue crisscross satin or silk blouse, because I don't think that's a dress, with the choker, the red lip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Mm-hmm. Because her eyes are blue, that dress just makes her eyes pop. I'm loving that. Absolutely. Yes, completely agree, Sonia. Completely agree. There's people that you want to have an occasional. And then there's people that you want to. Wanna. So I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. And you know, the ones that you want to, you usually let them wait a little bit. You let them wait a little bit. Okay. You got to feel them out. Make sure that they really, that material that they putting out there. Okay. Um, but it makes it all the more fun and exciting and 
Oh, um, good, good, good. When you wait on it, okay? So, you know, Rocco, since you ain't giving him none, you know, he building up that. Oh, he building up that. You know, thinking about the first time you guys might. Yeah, I get that. And then he's just going to be an animal the first time y'all get together. This is something I don't understand. Maybe y'all can help me with this. I don't understand this. How is it that these people on these shows have money, but as soon as we get a close-up of their cell phone, they screen all cracked up? How can you afford all the other stuff that we see you buy and wear, but you can't afford to take your behind to Sprint, AT&T, Verizon to get you a new phone? Luann, mm -mm. you gonna buy this Rolex for this man that we all are still a little skeptical about. Kissing women in the hotel lobby. You ain't heard it from me. Actually, you heard it from Bethany. So, you can't afford to get you a new phone? Just saying. You got an iPhone screen all cracked up. I mean, even if it's one of them plates you know the little the plates that have you to protect the screen that's all cracked up you're supposed to take it off put a new one on somebody else says that caesar from black ink crew they did a close-up of his cell phone cracked all up all up hey. Y'all make all this money and can't afford to get you a new phone or screen protector. Okay, Carol, that's a cute little election party. <laughs> Ain't no shame in your game. You like, I'm getting ready for the first female president. I don't know about y'all. I get it. So was I. So was I. Oh, she said I even invited my Republican friend. Oh, Carol gonna ask her boyfriend, aren't you gonna be happy when this is all over? But were we happy, Carol? Were we happy? No. No. Actually, I don't even want to keep going on because I know that there's a sad moment that's gonna come up and it might bring up some emotions from way deep down inside of me. And I don't wanna have to do that. I don't wanna have to cry again. Yes, because I cried the first time. Every time I see him on TV, I cry. In the newspapers, I cry. On the internet, I cry. It's a sad day. Sad, sad day. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Bethany, first of all, I love Bethany. Love, love, love Bethany. Actually, there really isn't anybody on here that I don't like. Now, on some of the other shows, I have some that I don't like. But on New York uh, City, I really like everybody. I really don't have somebody that I don't like. Now, from time to time, from show to show, some of them do some stuff, okay, that I'm like, uh, like Ramona from time to time. But it's not, but I, it, it's a never continuous that I don't like her, okay? Just maybe that show or episode. Um, episode is better, not show, episode. So, first of all, Bethany has her little girlfriends around. They about to go to, um, Carol's party. And, um, first, I, I just want to say this. I am so glad that Bethany brought up the way that we had to vote this year and how confused she was because I thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only one. The bubbling... And all the other, yeah. Shoot, I might have voted for uh, Trump because I was confused. Just saying. Look at Heather. Yes, she used to, I liked her too. She always used to say something. She had like a saying when she was on here. 
Because, you know, she had worked for Puff Daddy, so she always used to use some Ebonics every now and then. I got I I to try to remember what she used to say. There was a catchphrase that she used to say. It'll come to me, but let's continue watching. <laughs> Bethany is like, I'm not going to her party. She didn't even wish me a happy birthday. Okay. So what am I going to go to her party for? Bethany, like, I just don't want to go. I'm not thinking of no excuse. I'm not about to say my dog this or my child. I just don't want to go. Don't want to go. Don't want to go. Don't keep pushing her to go to the party. You just don't want to come through for a minute. No. How many times I got to tell you I don't want to go? Okay. I hear you, Bethany. I hear you, Bethany. Shoot. She's like, I'm not going to put on some fake face. I'm not. It's my no mask day. I don't feel like wearing a mask. Being fake. Hmm. I totally understand. Ah! Heather said we need like stronger alcohol. Because stuff is just not going our way right now. Okay, I hear you. Shoot, a lot of people got drunk that night. Not just you, Heather. Everybody basically got drunk that night. Get you a stronger drink. Get you some shots. Okay? Because y'all don't even know what's about to happen yet. This is just so funny because we all... This is so old. Girl. Here. Yeah. I told you not to do it. You crying? Makes me want to cry. I didn't want to have to relive that. I wish Bravo had just cut this out of the episode. A lot of us did want to relive that moment. But yes, yes, the day after, a majority of us were day drinking. Not only did we go to bed drinking, we woke up drinking. So, like her mother said, it was a day for it. <laughs> it was a day for it. No, Tinsley. She is upset because you didn't get her a birthday card. So now, you her lap dog. Re golden retriever. Yeah, she got her a birthday card. Okay. <laughs> Ramona. I don't know if it was such a good idea for you to invite your date to your surprise party because he just looked so out of place and awkward. Then you turn your back towards him. You don't introduce him to anybody and poor fella just walks away. Looking lost. Dorinda, I don't understand why you want everybody to be fake. I think Bethany should have just came on by, did a drive by, hey, happy birthday, and left. Come on now. Not everybody wants to be fake. Not everybody wants to kiss somebody else's. And for what? For what? All them people there, you said 250 people. Ramona shouldn't be concerned that one person didn't show up. And... All of y'all shouldn't be concerned about somebody not wanting to be fake. Y'all already know that Bethany is not that type of person. She is not fake. If she don't like you, if she ain't dealing with you. <laughs> okay, so all in all, towards the end, we realized that uh, Sonya and Ramona uh, don't know the meaning or how to say certain words. Good to know. Um, and... We see next time, I guess we get to see Luann in her wedding dress. Carol and, you know, her boyfriend, too close for comfort, living under the same roof, shacking up for a little bit. I don't know, but it was that time. Until next time, y'all.